Hello, my friends. This is Riley, also known as Smiley Riley, right here. What am I doing? Why am I sitting here with no makeup on? Light doesn't look great. The audio probably isn't perfect. Well, I was thinking, you know, I've been being, uh, stuttering right now. I've been playing lots of games on YouTube, and I was like, you know what? Let me just go on impromptu and talk a little bit about why. Why, why, why? You know, I'll ask you why. So why do I create toys and games? Toys and games like the Sneaky Snacky Squirrel game. This isn't one I created, but it's one I love. This plush, this pencil. Let's see if I can get it in focus. This awesome pencil. Why? So I used to do this for a living because it was what I love to do. I was good at it. I got to work it with great people. I worked with at a bunch of different companies and I lived in different states. And now the reason I do this for a living is because it doesn't help kids. It doesn't help other people as much as it helps me. It helps me. Um, this game, Canoodle, is the game that I've been playing online with lots of other players. And what I've noticed when I play this game, I get a couple things out of it. I interact with people I've never met before. I, you know, I'm working against a deadline. I'm looking at objects that go left and right and up and down. Uh, so, okay, like that's not revolutionary. Well, for me, it's revolutionary because five years ago, if you can see this, five years ago, my skull was shattered and my brain began to bleed and it pushed the other side of my brain against the inside of my skull. And then it started to seep down uh, to my brain stem and it was like popping out in different parts of my brain and it caused epidural hematoma and subarachnoid hemorrhages and a brainstem notch. And when I recovered after surgery, I have all these brackets in my head. And why am I telling you this? Don't lots of people go through tragedy? Yes. And it's important for them to talk about it. Um, so after I had surgery, after I went through rehab, I came home and I learned how to write my name. I learned how to track the days of the week. I had a walker. I was using a walker and I wasn't allowed to go to different parts of the house. And I remember a nurse came to the house, an occupational therapist, and she said, today we are going to stack plastic cups on the counter. So now as I sit here, I'm like, all right, we can all do that. It was giant it was a giant deal like i was like are you sure are you sure we're gonna stack plastic cups and we did and i was nervous but plastic doesn't shatter and i didn't drop any and the other thing i did was i reached for my friend sneaky sneaky snacky because i had to relearn how to use my hands correctly and i still have some problems i drop things i I trip over things. I just look like a klutz, and I was a klutz before. But I had to learn how to pinch objects. So I was given a jar of dried beans and some Play-Doh, and I had to line the beads up on the Play-Doh. Did it over and over again. And again, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I was able to line those dry, dried beans up. Wow. It was a big, big deal, and I was working on a bunch of projects for clients before the injury, and I, everything changed after that. I communicated differently. My thought process was different. I had a hard time organizing the way that I used to organize, and I thought, oh my God, like, what am I going to do? Like, what am I going to do with the rest of my life and my career because I lose things and keep track of things. And even now I use an analog clock on the wall and I put stickies for each time I have a meeting or I have something due. And I look at that to see what I have to do when. And it does help me. So 
the reason I'm sitting here on YouTube talking to you is because after I started doing some overhead gameplay with Canoodle, and I'm not selling Canoodle to you right now, I was like, wow, a lot of people like playing this, just watching me play and telling me where to move the pieces, and they've never played it before, they don't have one in front of them. And then I started doing it on YouTube, and I was like, oh, like thousands of people are interested in watching my hands overhead move these pieces around. They found it very interesting. Um, and I would rewatch them. I'm like, oh my God, I can't rewatch these. I just, it, it's just me talking, moving pieces over and over again. But other people liked it. And then I started to notice, oh, I'm lining objects up in a horizontal pattern. I'm planning ahead. There is this clock ticking down in one of the games. So I have to do things on time. And I realized, wow, this is really helping me. And then I talked to my therapist and I'm like, I mean, this is just <laughs> the way I am sometimes. I was like, oh my God, I'm enjoying it. Is there something wrong? Should I be enjoying this? And he, said, he asked, well, is it helping another person? Do you enjoy it? Uh, is it related to what you do for a living? And uh, my answers were yes. I, I think that, that those questions were yes. And so I've been thinking about it over the last couple of weeks and I'm like, I think that's what I want to do for a living. I just want to play games and talk about children's books and hold up this pencil that I'm obsessed with. Fixation is another thing that I do more of after the brain injury, but it's fine. Maybe it serves me in some way. So that's what I want to do for a living. I love to talk. I love to ramble, and if someone doesn't want to listen, they can just turn their phone off or quit this video. But if they do want to listen, if you're listening, I don't know, maybe this inspires you to do something of some kind. Um, so I think that's going to be what I do for a living. And again, this is impromptu. I've been thinking about it for a while, like, hey, I just want to do, I don't know who I'm talking to. I guess I'm talking to myself. I want to do something impromptu where I just talk about this thing that happened to me that almost killed me and how I got through it. And it wasn't me sitting around playing Sudoku or crosswords. It was me doing all sorts of different things, seeing friends and cooking stuff and having animals. I tried to do as many different things as possible. And now I'm starting to get back into what I used to do, you know, five years ago, invent toys and games, create toys and games. But now I like to talk about them and just lose myself in them on video. And that's it. So that's, that's my story. That's what I wanted to share today. Um, I did not practice this. I'm sure there are some bloopers. There's probably junk in my background. I didn't put the tanning filter on. But I wanted to share this with you. And if you're still watching, this was for you.